Hey everyone, we're given a triangle ABC with angle A equals 48 degrees. There's a point X on the base such that BX equals AC. And angle ACX is 18 degrees. We need to find the value of angle B. Now, this kind of geometry problem usually hinges on a clever construction. Once that's cracked, the rest becomes easy peasy. In problems like this, we often try to form an isosceles triangle using line segments. And that's exactly what we'll do. Let's draw a line BP such that P lies on line CX and BP equals BX. It's possible that point P lies outside triangle ABC. No worries, the logic still works. Now, focus on triangle PBX. Angle PXB is the sum of angle ACX and angle CAX. The sum of opposite interior angles of the triangle equals the exterior angle. That's 18 plus 48, which gives us 66 degrees. Since BP equals BX, triangle PBX is isosceles. So, angle XPB is also 66 degrees. That means angle PBX is 48 degrees. Wait a second, that's the same as angle A. Now, if we extend BP to meet AC at a point Z, with both base angles equal to 48 degrees, then triangle ZAB becomes isosceles. Looks a bit suspicious, doesn't it? Let's verify. We can say AZ equals BZ, using the properties of isosceles triangle. The quantities marked in red when subtracted and added to the sides AC and BP results in AZ and BZ respectively. So we get. But since AC, BX and BP are equal, that is all the line segments marked with double dashes are equal. That means CZ plus PZ equals zero, which can only happen if both the lengths are zero. Meaning points C, Z, and P are the same. So finally, Angle CBA equals angle PBX, which is 48 degrees. And that's our answer. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insightful lessons just like this one.